Hello all, welcome back for more survival cereal. Serious Lee's here, and we're still in the exotic ship. We're gonna scrap that today too. I've decided we don't need it. Uh, oh, come on game. What we need is money, <clears throat> because what we're gonna do today also is secure a location in our teleporter list of a site where I would like to buy a ship from eventually. We're just going to confirm that it exists and is found in this system, and then we'll head back home Scrap a ship, try to make some more money. All right, so. Mm, excuse me. Uh, there we go, activate portal. We want, what do we want? Which one am I looking at here? <laughs> I've got a bunch of these written down and I didn't say which one's which. I think it's this one here. I found this ship on the no Man's Sky Coordinates Exchange subreddit on Reddit. I used their direct site, but are not every ship f listed on the subreddit is in their direct site. Even though the direct site has pictures and you can sort by part, it's super cool and useful. I'll put links. But I, I didn't find the ship I was looking for, so I found something close enough on Reddit. And we're gonna go confirm that exists today. Uh, balloon. <coughs> Triforce tent uh, moon diplo diplo and bird. There we go. Let's confirm that this ship exists in this star system. It should be a tier three economy, so that'll be our first clue. I did not get the uh, system name, I did not get the in game name of the person who discovered it. Those things were not listed on the post. <clears throat> so, we're gonna have to check that it's a tier three economy, go up to the space station and wait for a couple of ships to land. Hopefully we see it quick. And hopefully we don't see it in S-Class because <laughs> that would drive me nuts. It's, it's a hauler, it's gonna cost 50, I don't know, 100 million in S-Class. I don't know how much S-Class haulers cost. It's been a very long time since I've bought a max slot hauler. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see if it exists. Actually, this might be a tier two hauler. This might be just, might not be a max cost hauler. Still, it's gonna be dozens of millions and at the minimum, and we have six of the millions. All right, hot planet, terrible purpose, discovered it. Uh, we can't see the economy type here <clears throat> on that screen. I don't, did we not? I didn't, I didn't notice it. Yeah, jeez. Had my ship not drawn in, I thought I looked that way. Oh well, we can scrap the ship here too. No reason not to. All right, where is the space station? That would be a good uh, indicator. Is it, this is a Gek system. So there's lots of haulers here. We might have to wait a while to find the one we're looking for, unfortunately. Uh, but if there were no space station, that would be a very strong <laughs> indication we were not in the right system. Or if it were destroyed. Uh, yeah, I don't know that you can find ships, except crashed ones, maybe, in destroyed space station systems. <clears throat> Alright, let's go take a look at what's for sale here. Actually, we can check the economy right there by just using our visor. Prosperous economy, mercantile resources. We need suit slots, so we're going to stop and spend some money today. Sure, just grab that one. What was that that landed? Nothing? Could have sworn I heard something land. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we could also spend nanites. We don't need a multi-tool. We are gonna upgrade the one we have. Stuff isn't drawing in. That's interesting. Is my multi-tool able to draw in? Maybe that's why the ship, I can't see ships. I'm not trying. Uh, tab. Well, there's my ship. 
There's my multi-tool. Okay. I think there's a there's a ship. That's not the one we want. But at least stuff is landing now. <clears throat> That's a very mosquito-y uh ship, a very pointy nose. Poke out my eye. Alright. Come on, ships, land. We're in a very short runway. That should help things progress. We could scrap the ship while we're waiting, I suppose. Let's make sure. Oh, yeah, I've got tons of room. We've got four storage augmentations. It's going to be nice to see how many we get from this. Probably two. Sometimes one, sometimes none. Pretty rarely three. Claim scrap 7.2 million. That, that's going to help a lot. Still probably will not be able to afford any kind of hauler. <clears throat> And that's not really a good bonus for our nanites either, because I don't want to scrap those hyperdrive modules and stuff. I'm going to want to install them, right? So let's keep these. We'll sell the rest. We only got one. One storage augmentation. Nuts. That's no good. A shuttle. Not the one we're looking for. Sort of an X-Wing shuttle. <laughs> very much X-Wing wings. It just doesn't have the uh, cannons on the end of the, the tips of the wings. And a very not <coughs> uh, <laughs> X-Wing nose. If you put a fighter's alpha vector nose on that shuttle, that would look a lot like an X-Wing. Except X-Wings have four engines at the back, I believe. Like one here, one there, one up here, and one up there. It's been a while. Been a while since I built my Lego X-Wing. <laughs> Shut up. So why are ships landing so seldomly out here? Was there, uh, was there a freighter outside? We could go down to a trade outpost. I believe we have an economy scanner in the ship. Uh, receiver, economy scanner. Yeah, we do. Do we want to do that? Let's try to wait for one... You know what we could do? We could try a first wave reload. Let's try that first, and then we'll go to a uh, trade outpost. See what pops in on the first wave in the star system, because if our ship is common on that first wave, this is great. Good news. Going to be super easy to farm. Not going to take me 18 hours at a trade outpost. <laughs> yeah, I would very much like to avoid having to upgrade the ship from A class to S class because I'm already planning on upgrading this from A class to S class because it's pretty cool and uh, I would like to have an S class multi tool. We also need to increase the slots on that, that's going to cost a fortune. So, lots to spend money on. So, we need to make some money today. We're going to wait for those pilots to land, and we're going to sell them the, the junk we got from the last one. About $7 million worth. Not selling the storage augmentation, though, so not quite. Hmm. Okay. Is that ship landing? Looks like it. That one might be, too. You can use your visor if you want to keep looking straight ahead and take a closer peek. Shuttle again. There's a hauler, not the one we're looking for. That's a shuttle for sure, I can tell by the jets. And what is that, also a shuttle? No, that's a fighter. <clears throat> All right, well, not the one we want on our first wave, but now that we have ships landing here, let's, uh, let's let these guys leave, see what happens. Actually, let's sell our stuff, right? Hello, Mr. Merchant. Would you like to buy some junk from a previous ship that I scrapped? Uh, oh, I went to buy. <laughs> Where's all my stuff? <laughs> Tank of coolant, iridescent we don't need yet. <clears throat> we don't have the recipes for any of that stuff. Well, that was hardly... Okay, there we go. <laughs> like, that was hardly 7 million. There we go. Compressed indium scraps. Excellent. There we go. Lots of money gained. 
Yeah, no, not the one I'm looking for. Uh, no, doesn't look like either of those are. That's an explorer and another shuttle. Let's see what else comes in. Ships are landed now. Uh, okay, ionized cobalt. Is there anything over here taking up only one slot? Yeah, oxygen. I could have sold this ionized cobalt too, but that's a great source because I don't think we had any on the save. So now we've got some cobalt or ionized. Uh, if we want to go do drop hard coordinate data to get the rest of my suit slots, that'll be super helpful. We need cobalt, I believe. That shuttle we sold stuff to still hasn't taken off yet. There it goes. Uh, same hauler we saw earlier. I didn't catch what this one was coming in here. Different hauler, not the one we're looking for. Yeah, unfortunately there were not any other ships posted alongside this one either, so that we could verify if that we're in the right system by those ships. Yeah, not much details except for the coordinates. So I've typed in what I wrote down, and hopefully I wrote down what they wrote down, and hopefully they wrote down the correct thing. Uh, also looks like an explorer. Looks as asymmetrical, and that's usually explorers. Yeah, it's the same one we saw. No, it's not still landed. Okay. <clears throat> well, you know what we can do while we're waiting then? I have also noticed we can save some slots this way. Bing, bang, boom. This takes a long time, two minutes per stack. But it's going to be uh, 500 nanites, <clears throat> so that's pretty good per stack. Can't see what that is, but it looks like it's a hauler. Uh, sorry, a fighter. Could be an exotic. No, it's a shuttle. Huh. Two more ships coming in. Uh, both appear to be shuttles. Lots of shuttles land in today. Shuttle crazy system. Or a shuttle crazy spawn, maybe. I just had a bad reload. Hey, there we go. That could be... No, that looks like another explorer. I am looking for a ball hauler. So I got semi-excited when I saw those spheres on the side of that thing. Yeah, that's definitely an explorer. <laughs> Not a bad looking one. Pretty cool a bit too much for me. I don't like the super duper wide ships. Uh, the explorers that have the thin wide wings are pretty cool. I do like those. They look, remind me of gliders a lot. That's one tip I have for when you are looking down the runway of a space station waiting for ships to land is uh, face the wall over here and then move your mouse over here. The way your, your, or your cursor, your reticle, whatever you're using to control your pointer there, move the pointer to, to look down the runway and have your character standing like this. Or if you're in first person mode, just ignore everything I just said and just point down the runway because that definitely helps ship spawn is looking down the uh, barrel again here. And uh, if you're in first person mode, uh, third person mode, sorry, You'll notice, every once in a while, if you're facing this way, your character will rock into view and block the line of sight, so you can't see what's coming down the pipes. So let's not do that, and let's face the wall. Put that in there. Oh, uh, yeah, we couldn't put, well, we could put that in there, but it didn't consume a full stack. See, we're only at 125 there now because you can only refine half of this at a time because we're on survival mode. I'm happy to see ships are still landing. I can't see what that one is. I didn't want to zoom in and change my facing. Ah, just the explorer again. Okay, okay. That guy's probably going to take off shortly. Haha, <laughs> he's a gek get it shortly. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I mean, this is nothing. We're, we're going to be waiting around probably the full day today. At least we got that ship scrapped. We made some money. We're making some nanites while we wait. Uh, that's from the derelict we did last time. We have... I uh, can't... Yeah, I can access it. We got the teleport uh, receiver, which are called Matter Beam. Yeah. Got that installed. So I can grab this from there. We could, uh, we could hunt a derelict today as well. If we confirm that this ship comes in. Hey, speak of the devil. That's exactly the kind I was talking about. And it's in a nice minty green. A-class. <clears throat> you know what? You know what? While we're waiting... <laughs> let's uh, let's make some nanites and maybe some money and maybe some storage augmentations. This is a very, very cheap ship to buy. 1.2 million, maybe? 1.5 million. Pretty good. Pretty good. We can afford it now. We're at 13 million. We can start spending money to make money by scrapping ships. Shuttle, not what I'm looking for. We do have to keep an eye out for the one that I'm looking for still. Because of course that one will pop in when I'm busy doing something over here, getting distracted. So we had five storage augmentations, correct. Let's scrap this puppy, see what we get. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to get a couple of A-class modules, ah, C-class modules from that A-class ship. All right, we're going to avoid scrapping that one unless it gave us like a bunch of... Uh, gave us one not a bad trade not a bad trade but it gave us c-class modules and that's really annoying it should have been a class from an a-class ship purchase sell get rid of all the greens we don't need them uh, we could use them for re-rolls but i don't they're taking up slots right now and we don't even have our full slots yet so let's ignore those for now too expensive to worry about we could have been checking all those shuttles that were landing to see how uh, inexpensive or expensive they were. That also appears to be an explorer. There's another, I think, tier one ship fighter. That should be pretty cheap. Yeah, neither of those is what we want. What is this? A class, 2.5 million. Mm, that's borderline, but we are going to make our money back from doing it. And it, hopefully, this A class ship gives us some A class. Uh, modules so let's this is my limit 2.5 million for cheap storage augmentations we don't know that we're going to get any storage augmentations not every a and s class ship gives you storage augmentations sometimes you get zero that's the role every ship has zero to three and it's set by the ship and the class of that ship so 2.5 uh, million cost 1.7 vet return value see what we get we had six storage augmentations we are getting a class modules and it's a fighter so I think there was three or four to sell not a bad deal what four one two three four each worth about 400 nanites uh, 300 nanites good that was great Calm down in the ship we'll make a save that was a shuttle landing. We got a storage augmentation from it. So if we see that fighter land again, we will know, in A class at least, that it gives us uh, 1,200 nanites and uh, almost 1,200 nanites and one storage augmentation for scrapping it. And it will cost us, uh, what's the math on? 2.5 minus 1.7, 3, 5, 8, 800,000. Not even a million. 800,000 for that. Pretty expensive uh, when you can get them for less than 200,000. Storage augmentations, that is. But uh, you're not always going to see that. We should have been checking those explorers. Those explorers, I think, are tier two. So they're going to be pretty expensive. Yeah, 12 million for a C class. No, we're going to ignore that one. That might be a tier three explorer. Yeah, it probably is. It's just very low class. <laughs> Shuttle, and that's a tier one explorer, so we'll check that out, because that can be cheap. And if we want, let's sell this stuff and we'll make another autosave. A class, 1.2 million. 
We're definitely going to give this one a try. Is this the one we sold already? It, it is, isn't it? Yeah, we know we get a storage augmentation from this one, and it's even cheaper than the other one. Uh, but we know we're going to get C-class modules. Let's, let's ignore this one. Let's ignore that. Oh, no. You know what, buddy? Take some of the junk we got from scrapping your lousy friend's ship with the exact same name as you. Wrong button. <laughs> Uh, sell items. Number one. Uh, don't need the geodesite either. Let's get rid of that. Activated copper will keep. Uh, I don't want to have to separate that. I definitely don't want a thousand ionized cobalt. I wish I could get that in half very easily with like a click of a button, but that does not seem to be something that's easy to do. Okay, you know what? I don't know that we're gonna be able to confirm that this ship exists here. Hmm. Okay, we have 500 ionized cobalt on fighter now or on our yeah the golden vector is a fighter that's fair <laughs> if this guy isn't about to disappear we'll sell back to him because he's already been delayed by us talking to him from taking off and replacing him with a better ship sell items ionize cobalt 900 all of it there we go another 300,000 back and are we clogged with anything else do we forget to sell anything else no but we did forget to keep doing this. We're making good nanites. We came here with 2,000 something. Yeah, this, uh, this appears to be a fairly rare ship, if it is the right system at all. I, I'm hoping I don't have to continue this too long off camera. But what will happen if that's the case is I might actually make enough money to buy it. <laughs> now you can see we're spending money. We had 13 million, we're down to 12. We've already lost a million, but eventually I'll have enough storage augmentations, about 15, 20 or so is what you need. And you can turn a profit by selling a ship. We're gonna have 100 million units as soon as we find uh, an S-class ship to upgrade <laughs> so with slots. What do we have there? Is that a hauler? A naked hauler? See, that is the problem with trying to find a hauler in a GEC system when you're looking for a specific one, is you get a lot of variety of haulers. Those two are the same, of course, so that's a bad example, I guess, but... <laughs> ah, jeez. <clears throat> is that four of the same ship? That's four of the same ship landing. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, no. See, there you go. That's a different ship, but also a different hauler that we haven't seen yet. Hmm. Oh, hey, I think that's the ship. That's another hauler that we haven't seen yet. Pretty cool, though. Anyway, it has wing guards. It has uh, shielded ball pods, I think. Yeah, with the uh, the glowing blue shields on the balls. Uh, ow. <laughs> Check out the uh, freighters that spawn here. Just There might be something cool. All right, you know what? You know what? What do we got ahead of us? What's this planet here? Is this the hot planet we came in on? Arid planet? Yeah, that's a hot planet. Let's go down here. Actually, is there um, is there a nice planet here? We could do it there. That might be nice. Might be radioactive. It's uh, aggressive sentinels. We're just going here. <laughs> All right, let's wait till we're in atmosphere. Then we'll probably have to hop back out of atmosphere because we're going to pop off the trade 
post detector. Four minutes away by flying. Let's go into space. It probably would have detected one on this planet straight from straight out from the space station, but y you can't guarantee that. We could have been sent halfway across the star system. Any day that you want to appear and uh, let us land, that'd be great. <laughs> I haven't seen this happen in a while. Usually the whole trade outpost pops in at once and then sinks to the ground. I haven't seen the landing pads appear first before. I don't think ever. That's neat. So uh, we have an incoming storm, of course, which is gonna make it hard to detect landing ships. But even ships that don't land here, we're gonna get a better view of when it's not storming. Oh my gosh, it's, it's lagging up a storm. <laughs> Okay, so we made uh, an autosave when we got out of the ship here. Oh, there it is. It is called Atika, Atikages, whatever, <laughs> Towering Conqueror. Okay, glowing ball hauler with the wings. It does exist in this system. That's amazing. That's great. Finally confirmed. It did not land, but at least I saw it. I know this works. We've been to the space station. In fact, that's where we're headed back right now. Because we finally confirmed that it does appear here. We made a couple of storage augmentations. We made a lot of nanites. That reminds me. Oh, ran out of fuel, did we? Somebody hailing us. What's going on here? Oh, pirates. We can take care of some pirates. We're going really fast backwards there. Notice that. Oh, I do not want face beam. Uh, what weapon was I on? There we go. <laughs> I thought I switched to rockets. Thanks for the metal, guys. We'll take whatever we can get. We're on a pretty fresh save. I mean, we're already uh, have access to Isotam. We finished the main story, but we have not developed the save at all. We've barely done anything. I mean, we got an S-Class freighter. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We got a matter beam for that freighter. You know what we don't have? You know what we could have been doing here? We got some time. We don't need to go anywhere yet. Let's go, uh, let's go do some piracy. <laughs> I saw a freighter fleet right over here somewhere. There it is. Let's go back to that uh, face beam actually and uh, start at the closer fleet. We want salvage frigate modules. We also want frigates, but let's forget about frigates for now because that just costs money. So we got, I saw a salvage frigate module. Where did I see it? Gold. Platinum. Salvage frigate module. Okay, got that one. He's still letting us land. We blew up his ship, and he's letting us land. <laughs> that is bizarre. Is that not bizarre? Anyway, uh, this is probably what I'm going to do for a little bit, is I'm going to hunt some salvage frigate modules and, uh, you know, just gain some stuff. We're going to come back next time and maybe try to, again, get this ship to spawn, but in S-Class. Maybe I'll actually, you know what? I'll probably do that off camera because that's really tedious. We, we just spent a whole half hour looking for that ship and we only saw it flying by. We know that it exists here and that's about it. Chromatic metal, cobalt, ionized cobalt. No, there's stuff underneath, I bet. Yeah, look at that. Platinum, magnetized ferrite, 
Okay. Uh, nah, nothing else on this one it doesn't look like. But we've got some other freighters to check out here, yeah. The one over here, and that other fleet. Oops, that's a frigate. There it is. So yeah, I'm going to keep doing some piracy. And uh, we'll come back next time, and we'll see if I have enough money or that ship already purchased. And uh, until then, everybody, have a good time.